Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be all of the books that I've read, mainly fantasy, because I feel like in contemporary stories, I basically live that in my daily life. These are the worlds that I <laughs> would not last very long in. I feel like I am a certain type of person and I'm not built for these worlds, but thank God I'm reading them because if there is a time in the world where dragons exist or somehow people have magic, maybe I'll have some insight as to that because I'm reading these fantasy books. But uh, these are the books that I, would not survive in. First off, we have the Ember in the Ashes series. The city is Sarah and it's within the Empire. Now this is based on the Roman Empire. So the author took some inspiration from that. I just looked up ancient Rome. It was in 758 BC. If you read this book, you know, it is grotesque. It is gruesome. It is violent. Would I, with my enduring and generous and beautiful self survive? No, absolutely not. Some of the things that are done in this book, I could never do in my entire life. Being a mask is actually the most craziest thing ever. I wouldn't even be able to make it through the academy in that world. If I was trained young enough, I would be able to become a mask. But I just feel like I'd be one of those people that low key, I'm just trying to live my life, you know, try not to disrupt the empire. I love reading books where destructive governments are overthrown, but trust babe, I'm not gonna be on the front lines. Like I will not be leading the charge nor will I be anywhere near the front of the charge. So next we have Legend by Marie Lu. This is a futuristic Los Angeles in the Republic of America. It is in the year of 2154. So what are we in, 2023? No, I would not. First of all, there is a test that kids, I believe when you turn 10 have to take and it determines what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I was a smart kid, but I wasn't the brightest. <laughs> and I definitely did a lot of stupid things at 10. Realistically, myself now, no, I would not be able to. The two main characters, they're on opposite sides. One is an elite and one is a street rat and low key might be a street rat in this world <laughs> because loads of people living in the slums. Uh, obviously the government is horrific. So yeah, I don't think I would survive very long. If I did, I would definitely be a street rat. I wouldn't mind that because if I had a chance to meet up with Day and be his partner in crime, I would 100% do it. For the next book, we have The First Sister by Lynn A. Lewis. The first book takes place on a gay and warship in space. So, um, yeah, no, I don't know. The idea of space is just very scary to me. If you've read the synopsis of this book, you already know what people on the ship gotta do to survive. And I, I don't know. Maybe in a different circumstance, I might be able to do it, but. I, I don't think I'm strong enough for that. <laughs> Especially the first sister, I could not do what she does. Oh my God, I wouldn't have it in me. In terms of like being a, a blade for the current government in this world, I mean, you have a partner. You guys are kind of linked telepathically or something, I don't know, something like that. And I usually do not like that trope, but in this sense, I actually kind of like it. They're linked because we have to fight well together in that type of way. But other than that, yeah, no. I mean, we later find out that guess what? Guess what? The government is doing shady shit once again. We really don't have time for any of these governments in these worlds. They're kind of all just, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of not worth it. So what would I be doing in this world? I would be, I don't know. You have like a, a lot of uh, genetically modified people. I'd probably be one of them just trying to avoid trouble like I do. Number four, we have Tender is the Flesh. Now this is a translated works. This takes place sometime in the future. This world, I think I would just have to be gone. I, I would not be able to live in this world. This book takes place in a cannibalistic society. So basically you're eating all the humans and uh, it's normal, completely normal. People are cut up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, I couldn't do it. The entire book was just disgusting to me in like a interesting way because I obviously had never read anything related to cannibalism before but even like trying to dissociate myself from the fact that like I'm eating real people I couldn't I could not eat another person not like knowingly <laughs> like if someone fed it to me without me knowing and they called it like beef or whatever okay maybe knowing that these factories exist people are being hung by their literal ankles or that's how I imagined it I'd have to find another way and if that means not being in this world, so be it. This one, wonderful book that I absolutely love, very tragic, but Babel by R.F. Kwong takes place in Oxford, England in 1836. Now, first of all, look at me. Would I survive? 
maybe wouldn't have a great life though <laughs> i'm nigerian right i'm nigerian american i would probably be in africa at this time like realistically to get to oxford england how would i do that i can barely speak french as it is that is like my quote-unquote second language but latin and greek i think they learn i don't know if i could do that and then you have your like specialty languages i mean maybe my best friend learned latin but i be able to learn latin greek and then a few specialty languages i don't know i'm thinking i would just have to be one of those people that is left in africa never to be heard of again just not for me i'm glad i was born in this century i mean i do like the academy setting i love the different languages i'm someone who even though i only speak one low-key 1.5 languages studying i could probably do that's about it the revolution part leave me out of it the little magic that was in here i did quite like the languages in it i was just so fascinated by it. i couldn't get enough of this book i definitely think that it ended perfectly i think my review was one word on goodreads just like wow i'm pretty sure that's what it is next we have fireborn by rosario munda not sure what time period this is set in but academy setting you have dragons I don't have pets. I don't have any cats, any dogs, any hamsters, any fish. I've never had a pet in my entire life. The idea of having to ride dragons, it seems awesome, but would I be able to do it in this world? I don't know. I'll definitely give it a try, but would it last very long? <laughs> they have a lot of physical things that they have to do, physical training that they are required to participate in. A lot of shit happens in this book. Very politically heavy, and this is a perfect book if you liked fourth wing i will say it is very slow so just get ready to like not understand a good amount of the book until maybe like a couple months after you finished it but <laughs> would i survive to be determined this one i would say is probably my favorite and that is this savage song by the ishwa the city is verity i'm pretty sure it's in a futuristic society monsters are created from very tragic events the premise of it i freaking loved if you like this savage song you will like jujutsu kaisen and vice versa like i feel like they are very similar in terms of how monsters are created but this world definitely not <laughs> like i either have to be a monster or in the city of verity you have two sides so like you basically have this military side and then you have this one man that basically controls the other side i believe and the main character's dad is that one man people have bought certain like necklaces that have metal on them and it keeps the monsters away so you're protected in a sense by the military side or you're paying for your protection um so you don't get killed on a daily basis uh first of all i'd have to be able to make enough money to be able to afford protection would i be able to do that not sure probably monsters low-key live in the shadows kind of kept in line but that doesn't mean that they'll stay in line even if they're told you know one of the main characters is an actual monster in this world which is just so fascinating oh literally my baby him and annan from jade city so many characters that i'm just like oh no like you need a hug you need a hug and you need a loving family uh, his brother not the greatest person low-key love his sister but this world is just vicious the main character she has some shit going on too she's obviously cut out for this world but i don't think i'd be able to do what she can do would i survive possibly these are all the books that i do not think i would survive in or if i did it wouldn't be very long i have enjoyed all these books leave a comment down below what book worlds you don't think you would survive in there is a reason why i'm reading it and not living it you know so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one Whoosh.